Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the insanity that is the 100 Baby Challenge. Now if you can't tell from my voice, I still have a cold. (laughs) And... For some reason, Aaron keeps making party size portions of mac and cheese because there was all already (laughs) a plate of mac and cheese with eight servings left in the fridge and apparently he made two more I don't know why he was doing that, but at least I was going to starve. I think we should go on a vacation because we haven't done that with this many kids. Maybe we should give that a try. question is where should we go should we go camping in granite falls should we (sighs) go skiing in mount kamarebi Uh, should I add a vacation rental to Sulani and go on like a tropical vacation? I'm kind of leaning towards Mount Kamrepi because I I haven't done that before on this channel or in The Sims in general. Not sure why she's stinking like she has a stinky diaper. Maybe if I Use cheats. I'll stop because that might have been where the. No, that didn't stop. Maybe if I reset her. 
it'll fix that. Because I think she is where there are like other uncomfortable movements were coming from. If you remember the last episode, um, Marissa kept getting an uncomfortable moodlet from being around an infant with a stinky diaper. But baby was upstairs, she was downstairs, and as soon as she went upstairs, the moodlet went away. And the baby didn't even have a stinky diaper. Nope, that didn't work. Well, I have no idea why she's stinky then. Because resetting her hasn't seemed to work. Cheating her needs hasn't seemed to work. Making her take a shower hasn't seemed to work. If anyone knows how to Get rid of that. Please let me know. Because see, she's got the stinky diaper, you know, moodlet for being near an infant. But the only person in the room is her. And she's a child. Hopefully that won't last, because I was going to have her be the one to continue the 100 baby challenge. I was going to give her a full, you know, custom content makeover when Marissa could no longer bear more children. And I was going to have Diana do it, but... I can't have her do it if she's constantly smelly, because that would get real annoying real fast. Uh, it looks like that's finally ready to get out of the dryer. Which means we can move that to the dryer. And then the next load. Why did it take so long for that to kick in?
Okay, so let's try the laundry. Fire's out. You don't have to freak out about the fire anymore. And then clean the floor because now it's all charred. Now let's go to the wedding dress shop for a while. We haven't done that in a while. And I need a break from the chaos. I mean, there was just a fire and Diana it has a stinky diaper, even though she's a child. And I've done everything I can think of at, to, you know, fix it, but she's still stinky. And it's annoying, so if anyone knows how to fix that, please let me know. Oh, hey, our employee is pregnant. For once, it's not us. Girl, you need to ch go try to calm down. <laughs> Cause you're oh. 
Ooh, that one looks good on you. It shows off your tattoo. Uh oh. Did she? Is she in labor? I think she's in labor. <laughs> oh no. And she's still working. We're gonna have to keep an eye on her because if she starts making those animations like she's in labor again, then we're we're just gonna let her clock out early. Send her to the hospital. Oh yeah, she's in labor. Uh-huh. Rashida Volkov. Oh, so she is she is she married the the werewolf guy. Um Allow to clock out early. Yeah, we're just going to allow her to clock out early because she is clearly in labor. If you were in labor, why did you sh even show up to work? Next time, just don't show up to work. I guess we should hire someone else. Okay, let's let's hire someone else. Let's go with her. Even though I think she's technically a doctor. Uh... 
there. Okay. Okay. Let's. We should probably uh, close up the store because <laughs> Bruce is about to fall over. Um, Let's restock some of these dresses. Yeah, so once we finish restocking, I think I'm going to close the store and head home. You see, guys, the only customers we have left are men. <laughs> so they're not here to buy. They're just here to look. Wasn't she, like, here earlier, just in a different outfit? Or was it someone with the same... Werewolf skin overlay and hair. Oh, I think it was the same person. Okay, let's close the store. And go home. And I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.